Now, remember, it's been about a month since the American House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan, but temperature is still running pretty high. Now, we aren't talking about the heat wave. Beijing is still very angry by the visit of Nancy Pelosi and the subsequent delegation visits. And it has shown us its disagreement in every single way possible. Sanctions, military drills and even abandoning decades-old ties. But let's in fact focus on one such bridge that has in fact been burned down after Nancy Pelosi's controversial visit to the Taiwan. Now, Xi Jinping's government has suspended climate talks with Washington. Now, this of course was a huge blow for climate scientists and activists across the globe. They in fact hope that the talks will resume within the span of weeks, but that does not seem to be happening. Now, over the last 30 days, the US climate envoy John Kerry has repeatedly urged Beijing to not let climate talks suffer. And today China has reacted. It has announced one condition to revive these ties. The US side should dispel the negative influence of Nancy Pelosi's scuttling to Taiwan. And this is an indispensable condition to the China-US climate change cooperation. This is the statement that's been put out by the Chinese foreign ministry. While international experts have decoded what this means, climate scientists are in fact saying that this could be disastrous to delay the talks. Once again, geopolitics has trumped any kind of a concerted policy on climate action. One of the reasons why the statement is very worrying is because the United States and China are the world's largest greenhouse gas emitters. Both these countries together produce a staggering 40% of all global emissions. So continuous collaboration is very crucial for advancing global action. Now, both of them have in fact agreed to take action within their borders. The U.S. has also passed a massive spending bill to invest in clean energy technologies and China has promised to become carbon neutral before 2060. But in some spheres of climate, a joint action is needed, like to cut down on methane emissions. And it's not just one-to-one -one discussions that are going to take a hit. One could in fact expect the politically divisive global discussions which demand cooperation of both the United States and China like the G20 summit that has begun today in Bali and also the COP27 meeting that is scheduled to take place in the month of November later this year. Now, ever since Joe Biden assumed office at the White House, the talks in fact ramped up after being on a bit of a back burner for the last four years under Donald Trump. In the month of April, climate envoy John Kerry became the first senior member of Biden's administration to visit China, where he met with high-level representatives on climate change. And then, September last year saw a second trip. At the Glasgow summit, the two countries signed a joint declaration to enhance climate action, including setting standards for emission reduction and also deploying carbon capture and controlling methane emissions. Experts say that with a history of very turbulent relationship, climate discussions have become somewhat immune, but never before have they come to a complete halt as, as has happened after Nancy Pelosi's controversial visit to Taiwan. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.